with developing raw images in Affinity Photo. I'm just turning over a page here. Developing raw images. We've done adjusting image exposure. Let's look at tonally adjusting a raw image. Page 90 of the workbook on the desktop version. Now, of course, we're looking at this using the iPad version, which is what we've got on the screen at the moment is the, well, not the blank, but we're ready to find our image. Now, I want to import it from the cloud because it's the same image that they refer to in the book and it's tonal adjustment. It's that image there. We're loading it in. Files open according to the book. And on the basic panel, we're looking for shadows and highlights. Now you can see the basic studio, top right. You can see at the top of the image where it says raw, DMC hyphen GH4, etc. etc. A bit of other information, commands there. But the top tells you it's a raw file. Now let's have a look at basic. We've selected the studio. The exposure is on zero, black point zero, brightness zero, enhance, contrast, clarity, saturation and vibrance. Now we're looking for shadows and highlights. which we don't seem to have on here. Exposure, black, zero, highlights. Ha, huh. shadows and highlights. Well, silly me, all you had to do was scroll up. I wasn't looking at the fact that the bar there scrolls up. Now, I'm doing this at the same time you're doing this. Remember I said it's quite different on here. So we've got the shadows down the bottom here. That's at zero. You can see that there. Shadows and highlights. Drag the highlights slider to the left to recover some of the clip tones. Now we can see they've got minus 20% there, so we're going out to about minus 20%. Of course, we've got the numbers that'll come up there, minus 18, okay. Let's make that minus, minus 20. That's the same as in the book. And that, of course, has adjusted that slightly. Drag the contrast slider in the enhance section to the right to boost the image contrast and produce more vivid tones. There's contrast is up here. And we want around 23%. Drag that out to approximately 23. And that's certainly brought up the, the highlight tones. Everything else looks fine there. Minus 20, plus 23 up the top there. And the last step, click develop to commit these changes and develop the image. Remembering, of course, that once you develop the image, it will turn into an RGB image and you can no longer apply any development to it. Click on develop and that's what it does. Now, if we have a look at it, you'll notice from the top, it's gone into the photo persona. And the raw words that were at the top are now gone. Now, of course, you can save this file, do what you like with it, as previous. You can see tonal adjustments, 
It's an RGB file, top left hand side there, ignore all the other work I've got there. If I save that, it will save it, not back to the camera roll, but it will save it to the Affinity Photo work area. Now, I won't go into where you save files and how you save files. You're probably getting used to that by now. That's all we need on that. That's tonally adjusting a raw image, page 90.